So right now, if you can even see my face, I'm doing wall sits to get my quads working in an isolation hold. And I'm about to do a superset with lunges. Right now I'm doing this for about 65 seconds. And then I'm going to do a set of lunges for 11 reps each leg. I'm gonna do them single handedly and catch that one on the next video. All right. What's up guys? Um, obviously you see that the audio is turned off right now. It's because I totally forgot that I had so much music playing in the background that because of copyright notices and all that good stuff, I can't be playing that in the background. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see and hear me talk with the videos with the music in the background, um, but not on this. Um, so right now, as you saw from the, the words at the bottom of that like part of the video, the frame, um, I'm doing lunges right here, three sets of 11, and that's three sets of 11 each leg. So uh, catch you on the next one. I'll talk right through all this workout for you guys. So this is the overhead press slash um, shoulder press focus day. So pretty much that's like one of my main power movements of this session for full body session. As you see, I'm doing three sets of 14. Um, and then I probably, it, I'm going to cut off the talking th uh, through the next one. Um, but the last set, what I've been doing is doing some occlusion training um, that's obviously with those wraps on the top of my shoulders pretty much explaining that when you do blood flow restriction training you want to only do the the lower peripherals and the upper peripherals and only doing it where it's wrapping by the armpit on the top of the shoulder by the deltoid and then when you're doing your legs you want to do it at the top part of your leg uh, the the point where your leg meets meets your hip um, and then kind of don't do it so tight but do it tight enough where you get that resistance so you'll see that and then next up we got some calf raises so I'll talk through that next one between standing and seated calf raises if you haven't checked it out go to the work from home, working out from home podcast episode 24 25 maybe 23 but check it out that's a very effective uh body weight calf movement because when you're seated you can recruit more different calf muscles than when you're standing so a lot of people don't know that. that's why we do see it and standing all right, we're back with another one. So pretty much as I'm explaining there, like I said earlier, I had to cut the audio out because of the music playing in the background. Um, but I was mentioning in this clip right here 
that I will do for abs since I do one like working sets of abs like one movement every day for five days a week so that's five total um, working movements and pretty much what I'll do is I'll split it up where I do like a you know where I hold my body up and I will raise my legs like a leg to chest or knee to chest or you know get your feet up as high as possible and then I will do one where I'm in the plank position um, so I do like both of these um, you can you know obviously substitute with like a standard sit up I don't like standard sit ups because it tends to like take my neck and you know I, I feel like I do more neck movement than I do more ab movement um, and then you'll see me going through uh, machine flies next As you're seeing guys I'm about to do some machine flies for my chest um, I'm talking through it pretty much um, if you don't have a machine I mentioned like you can do push-ups you could do dumbbell flies you can do them like incline flat decline whatever the case may be you can do different variations of push-ups um, also you could do dumbbells from like the lower part to like raise them up kind of like almost like a like a rope fly but with dumbbells um, so pretty much I'm just mentioning and trying to get to the point across where you know like hey like no matter what if you don't have a machine or you do have a machine there's always those different variations where you can hit those muscle groups um, as well as I kind of explain at the end like hey this machine has kind of like you know a little pull on it so I get like more 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 like the middle and the end part of like a fly instead of like the full motion so it's still a chest movement and I still love this part of the training uh, that I'm doing right now all right so this last one we're doing some rows uh, more laying down like a 90 degree angle for three sets of 16 last set I'm doing a blood flow restriction uh, set for the back and all that good stuff for the row and the movement itself um, but I'm explaining like hey if you have a machine if you don't um, there's always different plane, plane, uh, planes of motion um, so so say if you don't have a machine you do depending on you can row from you know you laying you know bending over you going on a bench um, you pulling from like a table pulling yourself up so those different variations are going to hit the back just a little bit better and you're gonna accrue different muscles and more muscles depending on what you're doing um, so you'll see here I'm doing a lean so it's like almost like I'm doing a seated row um, as opposed to like a vertical row which is like from up to down um, standing you know sitting straight up so you'll see right here and then that last one like I said I do use the band to do some occlusion training at the end so thank you guys for watching you know if you like this let me know if you want to see other things or if you want me to definitely check your programs and see what other areas we can kind of assist when it comes to working out at home just send me what equipment you have send me your training programs from before and I'll definitely try to you know assist and help where it is needed like where if you like your head you know you're stuck you're confused um, we could definitely figure it out together all right thanks guys peace mm -hmm.